Okay, hello everyone. I hope you're doing well and enjoying this very windy day. I hope the wind can just blow all that coronavirus all the way into the ocean somewhere, I don't know. Or out into space. Yeah. Let's hope. Okay, so uh, great. Um, here we are with our new unit. Just to talk about that unit a little bit. Yes, fashion and trends. It's a common um, topic as well on IELTS. Hope you had a look at it already. Um, and it mostly concerns, the unit is mo mostly about um, people's concern about clothing, what they wear, and about the way that they look. That's one aspect of this unit. That's what it was talking about here. What's your fashion like? Um, or do you follow some kind of fashion trend? These words here, fashionable, mundane means not nothing special. Trendy is, do you follow the trends? The latest things, elegant, looking classy, elegant or stylish. Drab is just put on any clothing. Sophisticated means looking more um, modern, like classy, well-dressed, practical. Of course, here in Edmonton, we need to be practical, especially in the winter. Chic. It's like trendy, looking very something new and stylish, comfortable. Do you like comfortable clothing? Or of course me, I'm impractical, meaning I like to wear a t-shirt in the winter. So <clears throat> that, that listening that's already in there, I, I posted it yesterday was asking about some fashion trends, okay? I didn't do these ones here, but I can check the answers after. Um, as well as these phrases here. And some other words here. Um, For example, fashion, does it not, which word does it not collocate with or connect with? Statement, clothes, accessory, conscious. Clothes. Because you can say fashion statement, a fashion accessory, or being fashion conscious. But you can't say fashion clothes. Okay, have a look at those. And then we had a really good example down here about a speaking part two. Describe an expensive item you bought recently. You should say what you bought, why you chose it, what you use or need it for, whether it is it was good value and whether you were happy with it and why or why not. Okay expensive item you bought recently this is part two remember so we should look at here on page 69 in our textbook we should start with saying I'd like to speak about first of all regarding Personally, we need to organize our answer that way. 
Okay. Um, so I'd like to speak about. Let's remember the question is an expensive item. Then probably, first of all, you want to say what you bought and why you chose it. Then why you like it. Oh, no, no, sorry. Regarding, we're going to talk about what you use it or need it for. And then personally, whether it was good value, happy with it or why, yeah. I don't like to buy expensive things, so I don't have an example. But I can imagine something. Just something off the top of my head here, just to give you an idea. I'd like to speak about a necessary expensive item which I bought recently. And that was Yves Saint Laurent cologne. First of all, I bought this cologne of Saint Laurent at a duty-free shop in Florida while I traveled to Florida. Now, don't get any ideas. This was over a month and a half ago, and I don't have any so-called virus. Uh, and I chose this cologne in particular because, well, it's actually opium, Yves Saint Laurent. And it's always been my favorite cologne. I find that it's very musky and it's got a very flavorful smell, kind of like I'm in a chocolate tear. And I smell like chocolate, so it makes me feel really happy. Regarding what I use it for, well, that's obvious. I use it to smell wonderful and not like B.O. when I'm out in public. Um, and I also use it for when I need to go somewhere special because I want to feel good. Personally, I think it was great value because it was duty free and that means that I got it for cheaper. And also, I think that I'll keep it for about a year, so it's definitely worth the money. You can't see the time, but I'm looking at the time. It was only two minutes exactly. Anyways, that's just the beginning here. Fashion and your personal appearance was this first part of the unit. Okay. Um, I'll be talking more about the speaking afterward. And later this week, we're going to discuss consumerism or I'm going to be posting things about consumerism. Because consumerism is definitely a very important topic for IELTS. Consumerism means shopping, buying. Why we buy so many products or nowadays we don't buy anything. Obviously because we can't go. Or I guess you can still shop online. But that's for later this week. For now... Um, I had posted some important questions here. It was about self-esteem. Now, self-esteem means thinking about yourself, okay? Or how you feel about yourself. Thank you to Ella and Salomia who were participating very actively. Thank you. Very good answers there if you want to get any ideas but these are the kind of questions I wanted you to think about regarding personal appearance or this topic that we have where the one, first one is some people say that people should think about themselves first and foremost do you agree 
Okay. Yes, we had some good answers. It's important to con- to think about yourself because you need to. But at the same time, some said we need to con- consider other people in our lives, which is good. Yep. The advantages and disadvantages of being self-critical. Didn't really get any exact response here, but self-critical means saying, oh my God, why am I so stupid? Sorry to use that word. Oh, I'm not attractive. Oh, I'm overweight. Oh, I look older. Oh, I have wrinkles. Criticizing yourself. Oh, I failed the exam again. Criticizing yourself. That's self-critical. Well, an advantage is that you can improve, of course. You can get better. You can try harder. You can change your life. Yes, those are all advantages. Disadvantage, of course, is that maybe you are well, you're treating yourself badly and you're putting pressure on yourself and that can be stressful. And you could be comparing yourself to others and it's not good. You should. Criticizing too much is not good, I know. Well, that's my opinion. Number three, nowadays so many people take pictures of themselves and post them on social networks. Is this positive or negative? Well, we got some good answers as well. Yes, positive because... um, You can share your life with your family, with friends, and they can share theirs with you. And you can keep up with people, all friends, and stay connected. And it's good to share, to keep your memories. All good ideas. Negative, because as we're observing from Facebook, Instagram, um, WhatsApp, so many of these social networks, Some people are going overboard. Posting too much about themselves. And some people, they don't post anything except pictures of themselves. And I personally, I've never really posted a picture of myself on any... um, social platform I just don't well one for one and I'm not saying anything negative if you do or if you don't I'm saying about those people where every two every second day they need to post a picture of themselves what has changed between about you between in the last two days from what I've seen nothing and I think that I think that some people have become obsessed with this idea. Or some people, there is a word for this. Um, well, I would say it's just obsessive, okay? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Everybody can do whatever they want, of course. That's what social media, social platforms are for. But in my opinion, if famous people are not posting pictures of themselves, then why are some people posting pictures of themselves when they're not famous or there's nothing? So this is, according to some psychologists, it's obsessive. And the idea that, that, um, actually that video that we saw, about the selfie and selfie culture. That's what he was talking about. That our society has become too focused on ourself. And that we need to show everybody about ourselves. And we need to show that what we're eating. And we need to show that our hair is new. And we need to show... I'm not sure. So, anyways, this question number three... I think it's negative to post too many pictures because it can become obsessive. 
and obsessions are usually disturbing. They're not positive. Number four, why do you think people are so concerned about their physical appearance nowadays? Also some good answers here. Well, in most cases we have to be. We have to present ourselves well in public. I think um, we need to in some cases. In some jobs, they require. For example, I'll be honest, here at the school, I don't like it when the teachers are wearing something too casual. There was this one teacher that used to wear a baseball cap and running shoes. And I told him, I said, look, you can't wear those clothes here. You look like a street person. And of course, he got very angry with me. Okay, anyways. So that's one. I think we have to. And the second reason is that... Um, I think I got this from uh, Solomia. She said that we need to feel good about ourselves. And I think that's true. One example, of course, is weight. Oh, boy. I, I mean, I think it's good <laughs> to be in a good weight. But sometimes the good weight may not be what we think is the good way. I think it's just sometimes it's like this idea of being very thin or skinny. Uh, me, for example, myself, I'd like to be more muscular. But no matter how much I work out, I can't get muscular. <laughs> so I think in a similar way, I think, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's important to feel good about your physical appearance, whether it's your hair or whether it's um, your weight. And I guess most important is how you feel about yourself. Number five, how can how can people balance their self esteem, their self esteem with social esteem? Oh, good, good answer from Ella. Um, you need to focus on your goals and feeling good about yourself and your career but at the same time don't forget about your family your friends and try to do as much as you can for them so both ways it's trying to keep both in there uh, in a equal balancing them in an equal way Okay, so <clears throat> then moving along here, I'll talk more about the speaking later this week, but now we're going to go to page 71 and our essay question, okay? Nowadays, people are more concerned about their physical appearance. What factors have contributed to this development and has it been a positive or negative development? So, um, I enlarged it a bit over here. Some students said it was too small. Okay. So first of all, what kind of essay is this? Is it an argument essay? Let's look at our guidebook. Our guidebook page uh, 85. Is it an argument essay? 
page 89 over here. Is it an agree-disagree essay? Is it a problem-solution essay? Is it a cause and effect essay? Or is it a general opinion essay? I hope you said cause and effect. Mm -hmm. Cause, meaning what factors have contributed to this? What causes people to be more concerned about their physical appearance? What causes that? Mm -hmm. And then what effect does it have? What effect does it have? Is it a positive effect or is it a negative effect? So, that one is page 97 and page 98. So, I'm just going to follow that structure here. And we're going to start off with the introduction. So, <clears throat> our topic sentence, some general ideas, and then our main thesis, okay. So, we need to introduce the topic here, okay. So, let's do that. Just a sentence that is on topic. Okay. In our early 21st century, the reasons for individuals being more consumed with their personal appearance and its impact are often debated. Okay, very direct here. Just changed a few words, people, individuals. Nothing really, um, just very direct. I like to be more direct, and we should be direct in the topic. So the reasons for that and its impact, effect, are often debated. All right. Now, notice here that I'm putting red any verb. But this here is a prepositional phrase for being more consumed. Okay. We use a lot of gerunds as subjects and as preposition phrases for being. I'll point some more at some more later. Just trying to explain why that's red. It's not a main grammar point there. So <clears throat> our guide says now we want general ideas we usually go with a common opinion and while from another perspective so the common opinion a common opinion is that presenting ourselves well in public could help us gain a social advantage in an abundance of situations. Hmm. Sounds good. So we present ourselves. See, here's another example of this. Presenting ourselves well in public. That is a subject. It's a gerund subject. Presenting ourselves well in public. It's like saying it. It could help. But instead of saying it, we defined it, presenting ourselves well in public. That's our subject. This 
could help us gain, give us, increase, give to us a social advantage, um, a benefit in society, in many situations. That sounds true. Yes. Now we want to get to the other perspective. While from another perspective, some psychologists posit that being overly consumed with our personal appearance. There we go. Again, it. But we can't say it could lead to. Because if we put it there, it doesn't really make it so clear. So we need to define it. And it is the subject. Okay, everyone? It's very good to, un very important to understand that. So what is our subject? What is it? Being overly consumed with our personal appearance. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I want to change this consumed to concerned. Just to change it there. Okay. And I put psychologists here because when we when we said here, um, when we give our two views, like it says here in our guide, general ideas, we should give one view and we should give another view. The second view needs to be a little bit stronger. A common opinion is what do most people think? while from another perspective, something more academic. And usually psychologists are the ones that talk about anything to do with personality and your mental thinking or the way you see yourself, okay? So some psychologists posit that, okay? Being overly concerned with our personal appearance could lead to, could cause negative personality attributes, qualities. So if we concern ourselves with, if we think about ourselves too much, it could be negative. That's what it says here. Agreed, again. Okay, now we get to our thesis or your general opinion. We want to use this despite, this structure here is good. We give a general cause, and then we use a general impact sentence. So let's see. Despite the controversy, from my point of view, modern lifestyles have propagated people's self-indulgence. Wow. It's kind of a little bit strong there. This word propagated, we've been hearing a lot on the news lately about that virus. Propagated. What is propagating it? Causing it to increase or spread. So here it says modern lifestyles have propagated or increased or spread people's self-indulgence. Self-indulgence means thinking about yourself and yourself and yourself. Indulging in yourself, it means focusing on yourself, always thinking about yourself. Modern lifestyles have done that. Okay, that's agreed. And this poses positive and negative consequences equally on their personal development. So I said it before that when we have essays that tell you what side is better, what do you agree with more, is it positive, is it negative, it's always better to say both, 
Why? Because it's more academic first. But it also makes it a little bit easier in structure. We can think of one idea why it's positive and another idea why it's negative. It's just what's important is how you write it, okay? Of course you can say it's all negative. And yes, you can say it's all positive. It's up to you. I would suggest writing both to sound more academic, okay? Okay. There we go. That's the introduction. So we gave our topic, general ideas, and the thesis. Now we get to the second paragraph. And in this paragraph, we're going to talk about how or why this happens. That's what it says in our, what factors have contributed to this development. Okay. Let's see here. So, to begin with, there are several crucial factors that have given rise to more narcissistic behavior among people. Just following that one. Yep. Yeah. Narcissistic. Oh. Narcissistic means only thinking about yourself. Including physical appearance. Okay. I'm kind of putting here like thinking about yourself and yourself because that's kind of thinking about your physical. It includes physical. But I need to connect more with physical later on I will. Narcissistic behavior means thinking more about yourself, including your personal appearance here. So now we should give our first reason, okay? According to our guide there. So, perhaps the most significant is that there has been a significant increase in the amount of social media focusing on the way that famous people look through television, social networks, and fashion magazines. I'm going to change significant here to drastic. And the reason is just because I, I saw significant, significant. Mentioning two words in a row that are the same. It's not wrong, but it just doesn't sound good. Okay? So I changed it there to drastic. Right, good. So the way the famous people look, so their physical appearance, it says increase, drastic increase in the amount of social media. Television, social networks, yes, and fashion magazines, for sure. We can see that everywhere. Has been, we're using present perfect. Because, again, this is something, a trend, something that's now, that started in the past and it's continuing now. So that's the way to say there has been a drastic increase. Also, you saw here present perfect have propagated. I want to remind you right now that if these tenses aren't very clear to you, then remember in your guidebook, look here. Present perfect, past perfect, future, modals. It's all right here. The only way that I could understand this is because here you see perfect tenses. It explains to you. See, it started. It's all here, everyone. Same right there, page eight. 
Yeah, there you go. So please, if you're at this higher level, but I still feel that if you have a good base, you can understand this. That's in your guidebook. Okay, everyone. Let's get back to the writing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we need to explain or expand, okay? So, if there's this drastic increase in the amount of social media, so what? What does that mean? Okay. So, it means this. It means... So, owing to this reality, the general public cannot help to be drawn to these popular trends and enticed to follow with the personal qualities that celebrities promote. Okay, so it means they cannot help to be drawn, means they cannot resist. They cannot help, cannot help, means they can't do anything about it. They are drawn, means they get the attention, or they, they easily follow that. They want to look at that and want to see it, because these trends are popular. Enticed means like convinced. They are tempted. They are... Kind of like to entice someone is, look at me, look what I'm wearing. And then you say, oh, wow, that's really nice. And then you want to do it too. That's enticed. Yeah, it makes sense. Celebrities promote. Yeah, they promote everything. We know some of these celebrities... They have millions of followers on Instagram, on Facebook, on other platforms. Those are just two. But also in magazines, it's crazy, really. There's something called a social influencer. Yeah, that's very common. Social, let's put it in here, social influencer. Anything they say, millions of people follow. Oh, look, look what I bought. Everybody goes to get it. Oh, look at what I'm eating. Everybody goes. Sooner or later, it's going to be, oh, wow, I just got the coronavirus shot. Oh, everybody's going to go get it. Maybe. We don't know. Well, not to say that. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but social influencers, they usually promote these things, okay? Okay, so next we need another idea, second reason, another cause. It's not a problem of this trend here, though. Let's see. Okay, so of similar influence has been that the social conception or idea of what is considered an acceptable appearance in a plethora of situations has shifted dramatically over the years. Okay. 
So it says that the idea of the social idea, what people think is considered acceptable or is good in a plethora of, my favorite word, a plethora of, I mean, it just means many, situations has changed, shifted. Yep, that's true. Means before this was okay, now it's not okay. Something. But here it's talking about appearance. It has changed. Right. So now we give an exemplifier or explain. In this case, I feel we need to give an example. For example, in most workplaces, people are expected to present themselves in a neat and suitable way. And in some extremes, employees must dress in an overly fashionable way. Such as most receptionists and flight attendants. Well, I gave these examples here. I think I think receptionists, yes. I think that receptionists is neutral. In the past, it was more like secretaries, but now we can have men or women doing that job. But it just says here that receptionists need to dress well, and I think it's true. And flight attendants, we know that they must wear makeup, they must look good. So that's what it means here. It says that there are social expectations for how you should look. Okay. So now we're over here. We're in the closing. Okay. We need to close this paragraph. Okay. Therefore, the root, the reasons why individuals could feel more pressure to concentrate on their personal appearance is more than evident. Right. So we just said this is the reasons why. The root causes. No, we don't want the root causes here. We want more to say the reasons for or the reasons why. Okay, so why they feel more pressure is more than evident. Okay. Uh, the reasons why individuals could feel more are more than evident. Are more than evident. Good. So moving along, we talked about why this trend is common. Now we move to the next paragraph. Okay, see, because I'm in problem solution. That's why nobody told me. Why didn't anybody tell me? Everyone, why? Why didn't you tell me? All right, okay. So, well, the reasons why here is more than evident. We don't need our society. Now we go to the effects, okay? It says, opening, connect by indicating the problem. Shouldn't be problem there, can be solved. Or the effects it has. I need to change that. But this is the sentence we want to use here, okay? We leave a line, we go down. Having considered the rise of this personal development, I put in there personal to be more specific. It appears to implicate both positive and negative consequences. It suggests positive and negative consequences. Yes. What's next? 
I know why I did that. So first and most importantly, consider the fact that I changed this a little bit. Instead of consider the fact, I changed it. Here's the example. And I just talk about the positive first. That's what I changed it to. On the positive side, it is undeniable that as social expectations for how we should look have become more stringent or strict, like there's some exact way, people must follow these trends and present themselves in suitable manners. So it says that because they have become more stringent, it means that we should follow. Well, let's change this must to should. This is positive. Why? Why is this positive? Are you wondering? It says we should follow these trends, especially because social expectations. I'm talking about social expectations here, not fashion magazines and not what uh what's her name kim kardashian is saying no not that social expectations is talking about well let's make it more clear and i think i'm talking about work people friends let's see so i need to explain it's not very clear what social expectations are so i should be a little bit more clear about this so on account of this individuals could enhance their quality of life financially socially and personally Okay, all right. Mm. I think I need to put here to obtain more opportunities. Yeah. So as social expectations for how we should look have become more stringent, People should follow these trends and present themselves in suitable manners to obtain, means get, to get more opportunities. Right. Opportunities could be job, could even be something such as finding the right person in your life. And that's why it says, on account of this, because of this, individuals could enhance, could improve their quality of life. Financially, if you got a better job. Socially, if you feel better about yourself, you have many connections. And personally, is more feeling about yourself. Okay, so I think that that's positive. Basically, what it's saying there is we need to look good to get better opportunities. And I guess in a way, I don't know, like I always feel that if you present, you know that express the first impression? There we go. First impression, right? Your first impression of someone is usually judged by how they look. And that's why if you look good, you'll be considered more for something rather than if you look bad, right? So that's what this is saying here. It's saying that people expect 
or there's an expectation that you should look good. And if you do, you can get more opportunities that way. That's the positive. It means we should follow this. Now we should go to the negative. I'm going to change this a bit on the other hand. Okay. It's just saying here, if you have the same, we can say an equally negative or an equally positive. If you're only saying positive and negative. But we are saying positive and then negative. So that's what we use on the other hand. So what? On the negative side, however, we should not ignore that the more that individuals fixate on their personal appearance, the more that they could become selfish and narcissistic. Right. Good word here, fixate. It means like you are always thinking about it. You're obsessed with it. So you think about yourself too much. You could become selfish. Oh boy. Only think about yourself. Narcissistic. Always thinking you look great or you want to look great. and It's not a good thing, let me tell you. There's this perfect example. I guess it's, um, I think it could be mythology or it was a person. I think the person's name was Narcissus. Let me just look here. Ah. Uh. Yes. Narcissus in Greek mythology. He loved everything beautiful. But the way the myth goes, mm, I believe the way it goes is that he was so fixated on his beauty. He, yes, he thought he was so beautiful and there was nobody as beautiful as him. So I guess the way the myth goes is that one day he was by a pond or a lake or something and he was looking into the lake and he saw in the lake his reflection and he was looking at his reflection and he was saying oh that person is just so beautiful and of course he was talking about himself that he fell into the lake and he drowned and he died because he was trying to find that his beautiful self. <laughs> there is a very important lesson to be learned here. Actually, some people have died taking selfies of themselves. Pretty strange that that could happen, but it has. So that's what it means, narcissistic. Okay? So, 
says this fixate on their personal appearance it could become more selfish and narcissistic we need to expand this we need to give some idea or some explanation some example according to here we're right here okay so okay what does it say here if people become selfish and narcissistic well what happens it says due to this reality we could further ourselves further ourselves means go more away like separate ourselves from collaborating with each other for the common good oh means we don't work with each other for goodness like to create a good society and become just this means could become it's connected to the could could become less th sympathetic to each other during times of need wow i think that's very important it's true and it's very funny but i have noticed this more and more the more that people just think about themselves the less they think about others it's true i do think it's true so what do we get to now we get to our closing rephrase the opening or rephrase what we're talking about this in this paragraph and we want to put yes consequently the impact of being concerned with our personal appearance could be seen as equally advantageous and disadvantageous we're just following the structure here that's what it said here yeah so there you go we gave one positive we can develop ourselves more one negative we, we we could become selfish all right now we get to the conclusion relate back to the topic okay mm -hmm. to conclude the way we present ourselves to others has evolved to an essential element of our persona. Our persona means our overall, the person we are. We can say element of the person we are here, but it's just better to say persona. So it says the way we look, basically, the way we present ourselves to others has changed or has become very important a very important part of ourselves that's true it's very true but what emphasize your opinion lastly so remember that my opinion was both are important so i should say something here about that opinion both are important let's see what it says above all though i would like to emphasize that we should always exhibit ourselves as we desire exhibit here just means show show ourselves how we want, how we desire. Mm -hmm. However, we should not fall victim to the modern obsession with our appearance. Okay, very interesting point. We should show ourselves how we want, but 
we should not fall victim. This is a good way to express. We should not fall vi victim means we should not get, in this case, fall victim means something bad. If we are a victim, basically means like somebody hurt us. So if we fall victim to something, means something negative. We connect to something negative. In here, it says we should not fall victim. We should not become obsessed with ourselves, basically. Not fall victim to the modern obsession with our appearance. So we should care about ourselves, but we should not be obsessed with ourselves. Kind of probably to find a balance. Interesting. Okay, everyone. Well, <clears throat> to recap, this essay was about why people are concerned with their physical appearance more. What has caused this? And is it a positive or negative effect? So it was a cause-effect essay. Yeah. And that, again, was page 97 and 98. Okay. So I would definitely recommend that you read it over. This is just an example. It's more important here to understand the structure and language use, like try to understand language use more than ideas. These are just ideas. Again, I don't think that this essay is by anyways even eight or nine. I think seven. I usually write at a seven level in class. Okay, so this is kind of just a general ideas that even level six should have and should be able to express. They might not express it well, but they need to have these ideas. How do you keep the ideas? Well, you need to read this essay or form your own ideas related to this topic. Okay, it's very also important to use these words like fixate or t we could further collaborating. We need to use have propagated. If we want to be academic, we need to know those words and we need to know how to use them. Some students don't know how to express these essays or these ideas in their own language oh honestly if you can't say these ideas or if you can't think of them in your language then there's a problem that means you won't be able to keep them in in your mind so i really suggest that you at least have the idea in your language we don't need to know how to write in your language you need to know how to write in english but to keep the idea, try to keep the idea in your mind, in your language as well, okay? Um, all right. Very interesting topic. And we will be back soon with another wonderful essay topic. Bye for now.